Exercise 15. This video will probably not turn out very well because of the construction outside, but whatever. This one's pretty short. So we want to prove that this set is open. And basically what you have is if you have some sort of circle and you have a point in it, you can be like, oh, let's put an open square in here that's contained in the circle. And you need, need to figure out how small you need this length to be in order to fit the square inside the circle. But once you get, once you get like a formula you can write down for that length, then you're good to go. So I'm just going to give you the formula um, because when you write it up in the proof, you write it as if it, you've somehow magically found it. So I guess it's not very enlightening as to how you find it, but it's basically, oh, you let be a variable, do the calculation, see what you would need to make that variable in the first place in order to get what you want. So let x be in this set. Um, we're just going to call this the ball of radius r centered at a. That's equal to this thing. So let x be in this ball. Um, let d equal distance between x minus a which we know is strictly less than r for each i from 1 all the way up to n well there's the banging choose an interval ai equals xi minus and then let's see here this is r minus d to the one fourth over over square root n yeah. and then xi plus r minus d to the one fourth over square root n then let a be the open rectangle a1 all the way up through a n then a is open and for all y in a um, we know that the distance between x and y is well, was this? this is just the sum from i equals 1 to n xi minus yi squared but this is going to be less than the sum from i equals 1 to hmm ooh I'm realizing that I'm off by like this this seems like this is a lot of roots to have in here so it turns out all we need I'm pretty sure is r minus d over square root n um, squared if you so if you we want this to be r minus d squared so this should be that over n yes okay there we go yeah something was kind of bothering me about that but I didn't figure it out until just now so anyways x minus y squared is equal to this and this is strictly less than sum from y equals 1 to n of if we, well, the distance from y to x, since y is in this interval ai for each i, its distance can't be more than r minus d over square root n. And so what we're going to get is we're going to get r minus d over square root n squared, um, which is just r minus d squared over square root n squared, which is just n. Um, but we're summing up this term divided by n, and we're summing up n times. So this is just, come on, r minus d squared. And so, x minus y is less than r minus d. Then... Um, we want to prove that y is in 
this ball so that any point in this rectangle is in the ball. Um, and so y minus a is less than or equal to, just use a triangle inequality, y minus x plus x minus a. Um, but now we know that y minus x in absolute value is less than r minus d, and x minus a, well, is less than r. No. x minus a is equal to d. So we get this, but this is equal to r. So the distance from y minus a is strictly less than r. Thus, this implies that y is in ERA, and so A, and so, well, let's see here. X is contained in the open set A, which is a subset of BRA. Such an A exists for all x in BRA, and hence BRA is open. And this completes our proof.